Mr. Stubbuck. Do you ever ponder the movements of whales around the four oceans? I only know that they appear at certain feeding grounds in certain season. Look here. Log books from the time New Bedford men first went to whaling helped me draw this chart. It divides the oceans into areas of five degrees of latitude by five of longitude. Here are the months of the years, the ships that passed, how long they lingered, the whales they saw, what size, what color, how many, where heading. I never saw the like. This way the humpbacks go, the blue, the right, the spermaceti, sea mile by sea mile. I know their hidden journeys as I know the veins in my arm. Do you mean to say that their journeys can be foretold? Aye, like the blood pumping in my veins from heart to hand. If this be so, we can follow along with the herds, killing as we go, or fill our hold in record time. So we shall, Mr. Starbuck, so we shall, once we've attended to our bigger business. What is that business, Captain? Him, Mr. Starbuck. Him. What's true of the herds holds largely for the great solitaries and hermits. These sources tell the truth, and my calculations are not faulty. He now swims the waters off Good Hope, and all the Indian Ocean lies before him. Next month, he cruises the Bengal Bay, March, the Sulu Sea, running eastward to the gateway of the Pacific. I shall be waiting for him here. 